Yo guys, I need a haircut cause like this. I don't know what the fuck is this. Like the hair is gone bad again. But I'll get a haircut soon. Fuck. So anyway, I'm gonna wear my street cap. So hey guys, I'm Carl back with another video, and this video it's not story time. Uh -huh. not story time. Fuck you guys. I'm going home. Mom, I need to get back in between your legs again. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna tell you about how to ease your insecurities and all that. Now, guys, insecurities are those stupid beliefs that you get every time you feel uncomfortable in your own body. Like, I get insecurities too. Like, I feel so insecure about my lips and my teeth right now. Fuck. My God. And all that. Got another phone here. Anyway, not much of an introduction shit. Just trying to look for it. Let's do this bullshit. Leo! Number one, challenge negative thoughts. It's easy to be hard on ourselves after stumbling on making a mistake, but but beating yourself up because you didn't score that big promotion or forgot to make an important phone call keeps you stuck in a ne negative cycle of shame and self-loathing. Try to practice countering your negative thoughts as they come up. That's right. Always challenge your negative thoughts for you know face five. You know you know all that. Yeah, moving on. I ain't got much to say, but I get it though. You don't know just what I say. Number two, spend time with people who love you. There's nothing like surrounding yourself with loving, supportive people to build up your confidence and make you feel accepted for who you are. Make a plan to set up coffee dates and get togethers with your nearest and dearest. Seeing yourself through the eyes of those who care about you will help you appreciate your own unique qualities and perspectives. That's right, guys. Always spend time with the people who always treat you, make you feel like you, you are better than what they, what you think you are, you know what I'm saying? Like, those guys are so rare and so hard to find, you know what I'm saying? And I'm one of them. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Number three. Step away from trouble, troubling situations. Think about the times you felt especially insecure. Who were you with? What were you doing? Noticing the people and situation that deflate your self-esteem can help you pinpoint what to avoid if you are surrounding yourself with so-called friends who make it a habit of pointing out your flaws it's a clear sign to find a better company that's right number four reflect on the good celebrate your successes and talk yourself up when you are you've had a big win at work being proud of what you do even if it seems awkward at first can have a powerful effect on your self-esteem. Keep a reminder of on hand to help boost your confidence throughout the day by number one, saving compliments people have given you on your desktop or notes app. Number two, writing out all your accomplishments to review them when you're feeling insecure. Number three, taking a few mi minutes each day to list three things you appreciate about yourself is it number five i don't know but the next anyway next one do things that bring you joy prioritize spending free time doing things that bring you joy and happiness whether it's curling up with a book or cooking a good meal from scratch even better consider learning a new skill or taking up a hobby you've always wanted to try aside from aside from making you happy mastery a new skill is a good remainder of your talent and interest that's right that's right Always do things that bring you joy and I promise you, I, I really promise you, this, this is gonna be worth your confidence. Number six, I think, focus on baby steps. Overcoming insecurity and building up your self-esteem don't happen, don't happen overnight. Try to be kind to yourself during this process and don't get discouraged if things aren't improving as fast as you, you'd like them to. Like, yes, don't rush, don't rush. It's really not that necessary to rush, you know, not, you know what I'm saying? Just do things one step at a time. Always learn to be patient. And I really promise you, this is just, this, this, this might work out. Number seven, this is the last one guys. Hit the books, books about the nature of insecurity and ways to work through it, through it cannot only offer good advice. Whew. Man, I really gotta practice my poems, poem voice, fuck. Books about nature of insecurity and ways to work to work through it can not only offer good advice but also help you feel less alone when you're going through it there are countless books the subject but these titles are a good at starting point yes that's right 
like nigga you gotta read novels like if you wanna like know what's going on and all that to forget about your insecurities and all that so yeah don't be afraid to read a novel because they might sound boring but some books may be interesting guys they may be interesting so go hit the library a nearby library and find the most interesting book that you can read so to keep your mind up to date you know and all that to see what's happening in the story and all that so anyway this is the end of the video guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you go down there and hit the like button it doesn't even mean anything i just like likes ah and i don't know what to say again anyway this is it peace love i love y'all like spaghetti and meatballs and bye